Gilly is a uh, well. You're he, a clown. He's a chief executive clown. I mean, I don't want to. Yes, but that is true. Though. Down at, I mean, in your in your heart, you're a clown. Yeah, the heart of a clown. I nice. think that's what makes a clown the we, heart of a clown. We need to describe Gilly really quick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gilly is wearing handsome. a super handsome. A re- <laughs> Start with the a hands. Red and white striped shirt. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the pants are like MC Hammer pants, but for a clown, with red uh, being the main color and some side pockets, some large side pockets, which are yellow. Uh, he's got black <laughs> suspenders on. His face is entirely white. He's got a forehead that rivals Hoffman's. Easy. Black Whoa. hair all around the side, uh-huh. like my grandpa had. Losing it on top. <laughs> and a bright red nose and a bright red smile. And, and a little blue cap up there, too. A, bl- a, little, a little blue, blue cap. cap. Yeah. I mean, this is clownery at its best right here. This is this is a legit clown. This isn't like a half ass clown. This is not theater of the mind clown. This is level five this clown. Is clown clown. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm beyond a rainbow wig. I'm beyond a rainbow. Yeah, wig, the, you you, know? you go into the serious part. I mean, it's not a cartoony clown. No. This is a. Uh, I mean, think, serious business clown. I like to think of my clown as kind of like Superman on his day off. You know, like the clowning should sure. be like you're in the costume, but you're drinking coffee. I and mean, that's what the clown should be. Yes. Me, you know? Are those tears? Like he hasn't quite gotten on yet. <laughs> Do you have tears? Uh, no. The, oh. well, they, it's, they, yeah, they call it kind of like it's like a teardrop, but I make yeah. these extra long. But you're not a sad reason. clown. No. Well, no. All clowns are sad. I mean, let's be honest. You don't become a clown if you're a happy person. I mean, <laughs> there is a sadness Uh-oh. that you have that you maintain because yeah. you want to make other people laugh because you can't do it yourself. Oscar, we need Dr. Wendy. A stat, please. <laughs> Why? Stat. All Let's, clowns are sad. So tell us about the hysteria, when that began and how it changed what you do. Mm, I, well, I think it's always been there. I think there's sort of the, the natural, for any 35-year-old woman, the natural predator seems to be a clown. <laughs> Although, <laughs> I'm sure I could s- s- go through her Facebook and ex-boyfriends to be like, hey, we're not that scary compared to what I've seen. Um, True. But I think, uh, you know, I I felt it more in the past three years. I think there was that big push in Southern California where they're like, the clowns are coming to Southern California. And I was like, oh, man, that's terrible. Every 17-year-old is going to rush to the Halloween store to go get a clown. You know I mean? Yeah, you and just, drip you, the they, blood down and the yeah, knife. You just the- advertise. We, we want these guys to do this. Yeah. I didn't understand that. But then that created a lot of problems with a lot of uh, some of the more positive aspects of clowning, whether it's in the medical community or, you know. Um, just outside being a party clown, you know, it hurts people a little bit, you know, it's unfortunate and something that we have to live with. The more you try to push back from it, the worse it gets. You're just going to have to deal with it. Have you had any experiences where you've gone into a party or you've gone into a a situation where people just freak out? Yeah. I mean, yeah, sure. Yes, of course. I mean, there's always like a 16 year old girl. It's like, I'm just terrified of clowns. Like, no, you're not. I mean, if I do a kid's party, I don't wear a white face. I wear a little red nose and some makeup on the eyes and then, People are like terrified of that. And I just call their bluff. I, I don't think you are. I'm sure there's a segment of the population that's terrified of clowns. I'm sure it exists. But the majority of people, it's a way of building community. You know, they're not really scared of clowns. They're just, it's easy to do that, to say, you know, to bond together, to be like, oh, I'm scared of clowns. Because people are like, I'm scared of clowns too. You are? Well, we should have a group. We're all scared of clowns. Like, it's we easy. We should call it something like yeah. chorophobia or something. <laughs> right. right. Um, <clears throat> Well, that's that's one of the things that we wanted to bring you in for was to to sort of do the pushback thing, but get, right. to give you a uh, a platform to do it uh, where people could actually see this is a legit. Yeah, I you mean, don't this is a kill thing. children. It's, no, not me personally. Now, are there clowns that do that? I'm sure there have been. I mean, look at John Wayne Gacy; that mm. ruined it for a lot of people. You know, but I'm not going. I'm not going to defend all clowns and say they're not all murderers. You know, right. I just think there's probably it's probably fractional to the actual society they live in. You know, I'm sure like whatever people, whatever plumbers right. are murderers, is radio the DJs, same ratio to clowns. Right. 